Hello everyone, this is Miss Jordy, the young adult librarian at the headquarters branch. Thank you for joining me for our virtual trip to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to Los Angeles. We are now about 2,300 miles away from Augusta, Georgia. Los Angeles is my favorite place that I have visited so far, and I'm going to show you around to some of the sites there. Our first stop is Santa Monica State Beach, and it is my favorite place to go in LA. Feel the ocean breeze, the sand between your toes, and the waves against your skin as you walk along the beach or jump in for a swim or go surfing. Santa Monica State Beach is the home of the original Muscle Beach and has gymnastics equipment. At Santa Monica Pier, we can go to the amusement park and either ride the Ferris wheel, bumper cars, or merry-go-round, as well as see the aquarium. And we can also go get a bite to eat from one of the restaurants such as Bubba Gup Shrimp Company, Pure Burger, and several others. From Santa Monica Beach, we'll take a mile walk or you can take a bicycle or skateboard up the ocean front walk to Venice Beach. As we go up to Venice, we'll pass the International Chess Park where you can join a game of chess. Venice Beach has a different feel than Santa Monica Beach. While Santa Monica is considered much more upscale, Venice has a funkier atmosphere with street performers, colorful murals, and funky shops. There's also a skate park and the Muscle Beach outdoor gym with weightlifting equipment. It is where Joe Gold originally started Ghost Gym International in August 1965. Our next destination is 20 Street, which is known as the birthplace of Los Angeles, as well as El Pueblo Historical Monument in La Placita. It is a Mexican marketplace that has street vendors, restaurants, old buildings, painted stalls, cafes, restaurants, and gift shops. Olvera Street was created in 1930 to preserve and present the customs and trades of early California. If you like Mexican food, it's a good place for us to get some authentic Mexican food from restaurants such as La Luz del Dia, and also a good place to get souvenirs. Enjoy watching Aztec and Mexican folkloric dancers, as well as listening to the mariachi bands. Across the street from Olvera Street is Union Station, from here, we can take a trip to the neighboring Chinatown and Little Tokyo districts. Union Station is the main railway station in Los Angeles and the largest railroad passenger terminal in the Western United States. In May 1939, it opened as the Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal, replacing La Grande Station and Central Station. Our next stop is Little Tokyo, which is also known as Little Tokyo Historic District. It is an ethnically Japanese-American district in downtown LA and the heart of the largest Japanese-American population in North America. Here you'll find the Japanese-American National Museum, the Geffen Contemporary at MoCA, which is a satellite location of the Museum of Contemporary Art. The district is also known to have the best Japanese food, as well as some cool shops. When I visited Little Tokyo in 2016, to my surprise, I saw jelly shoes in one of the shops, which were very popular in the 1980s during my childhood and I hadn't seen them since then prior to that. For the music lovers, we'll head next to the Grammy Museum in downtown LA where you'll see awesome exhibits on some of your favorite Grammy winning artists. It's an interactive educational museum dedicated to the history and winners of the Grammy Awards. Here you'll be able to interact with touch screens, videos, recording booths, and instruments. If you love shopping or just window shopping, like myself in this case, because these shops are too rich for my blood, you'll enjoy Rodeo Drive, where you'll find famous brands like Versace, Jimmy Choo, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, and others. Our next stop is to Hollywood Boulevard, where we'll gaze at the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You can also see the footprints of the stars at the TCL Chinese Theater, also known as the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and do more shopping at Hollywood and Highland Shopping Center and Entertainment Complex. Here you'll also find several museums, as well as the Dolby Theater. The Jimmy Kimmel Live Show is also on this boulevard. While we're on Hollywood Boulevard, let's go to Madame Tussauds Hollywood, which is the most famous wax museum in the world where we'll see lifelike figures of our favorite celebrities, such as Elvis, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Snoop Dogg, Will Smith, George Clooney, Michael Jackson, Kobe Bryant, Tiger Woods, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Beyonce, and many others. 
A trip to Hollywood isn't complete without a tour of celebrity homes, so let's hop on a bus with Starline Tours, where we'll drive by homes of celebrities such as Ellen DeGeneres, Michael Jackson, Dr. Phil, Bruno Mars, Katy Perry, Elvis, and others. I don't know about y'all, but after all of that walking and sightseeing, I'm a little hungry. So we're stopping at Grand Central Market, a downtown landmark since 1917, which you'll love because of the variety of foods to choose from. There's pizza, burgers, tacos, Chinese food, Japanese food, barbecue, and more. And Bel Campo Meat Company is known to have the best burgers in LA. Our next stop is to my second most favorite place in LA, which is the Griffith Observatory. Here we'll see spectacular views of the Hollywood sign and of Los Angeles. At the observatory, we'll look through telescopes, see live shows at the Samuel Oskin Planetarium, and explore exhibits. We'll also get a chance to see a gorgeous view of the sunset from here. On our last day in LA, our first stop on our adventure is to The Grove in the Farmer's Market LA. The Grove is a retail and entertainment complex that is located on parts of the historic Farmer's Market. The tabloid television news program Extra was taped here from 2010 to 2013, and has also served as a venue for the finales of the Dancing with the Stars show since November 2015. It contains shops such as Nordstrom, Barnes Noble, Apple, and others, and has restaurants such as the Cheesecake Factory in Maggiano's Little Italy. Three minutes away from the Grove is the Farmer's Market LA, which was established in 1934. Here we can buy fresh produce, get lunch, and other goodies. Our last stop for our trip is to Universal Studios Hollywood. Here we can walk the red carpet and go on rides and attractions such as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the world famous studio tour. We can also enjoy the Universal City Walk, which has great restaurants and awesome shops to get our last minute souvenirs. During our trip, did you spot any celebrities? During my first trip to LA in 2013, I spotted Maria Menounos and Jason Alexander as she interviewed him on the set of Extra at The Grove. I met actor Tyrone Burton on Hollywood Boulevard. And at the Farmer's Market LA, I saw actor Lucas Haas, who was one of my celebrity crutches as a young adult. I look forward to the day when I can visit LA in person again. Even when there are times where we can't travel due to lack of funds, lack of free time, or due to situations such as this pandemic, there's still good news. The amazing thing about books is that they can transport us to another land even without leaving home. We can learn a lot about life from different people in different places. Recipes can do that as well when we make foods from other regions that give us a taste of being there. Also, books can help you as young adults plan a trip of your own or dream of destinations to visit when you become adults. If you're California dreamer like I am, here are my picks for this week. My first pick is The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. Imagine being given the option of getting suspended from school or having to work with a person you like the least for the entire summer. Which one would you choose? But this is the dilemma that 16-year-old Clara Sheen is facing when a prank goes too far and she is faced with suspension until her dad recommends and she spends the summer in LA working on his food truck, The Cobra, alongside her nemesis, her classmate Rose Carver. Would they get along well enough to avoid suspension? And while working on the food truck, Clara meets Hamlet Wong, who is so not her type, but why does she have a crush? To find out if Clara survives her summer and also to learn about hot spots in LA, read the way you make me feel. My second pick is In Search of Us by Ava Delira. Take a road trip from New Mexico to Los Angeles with 17-year-old Angie and her ex-boyfriend Sam as she goes on a quest to find her African-American father James. All of her life, Angie's hard-working and dedicated white mother Marilyn has told her that her father died in a car accident before Angie was born and that his younger brother Justin died as well. But when Angie comes across photos of her parents and her uncle as young adults, and later comes across a video that makes her think her uncle could be alive in Los Angeles. She wonders if her father could be alive too. As she goes on this journey, and she also learns more about her 34-year-old mother as a 17-year-old in Los Angeles during the late 1990s and her struggles as a teen mom. To learn more about their stories, read In Search of Us.
Here are more stories for you to explore places in North America. Thank you so much for joining me on our virtual trip to Los Angeles. To complete our journey to Cali, be sure to check out part two to learn how to make a California Dreamin' smoothie, which tastes amazing and is so easy to make, and Meghan Markle's avocado toast with pepitas and feta. See you later.